2023 is going to be your best year yet. Trust me. In this video, I'm going to be taking through how I usually prepare for the new year. I've been following this formula in my head for years, but I finally decided this year to actually put it down into paper and verbalize it and share it because I actually know that it works. It really, really works. It's a combination of like mindset and goal setting and action plans. And I feel that a lot of us, I'm sure you guys can relate, but you set so many goals and resolutions for the new year and then a couple of weeks later, a couple months later, you completely forget and then you get to the end of the year and you realize that you didn't actually actively pursue most of the goals that you set for yourself. And so the reason why this formula really works is because I've used it on myself for so many years and it's allowed me to achieve almost every single goal that I've set for myself. I've been able to make so much more money than I thought that I could in my 20s. I was able to start my own businesses. I was able to like provide a living for myself and my family. Like it's like actually crazy. So I really hope that you get some value from this video. And for me, 2022 was probably one of the hardest years and one of the worst years for me mentally. And also I felt like I wasn't as productive and I just didn't really achieve the goals that I set for myself. And I just fell short in every single aspect. And so 2023, I've really just put the systems in place, I've set my goals, I've gotten clear and I just wanted to make this video because I'm so confident that if you watch through this video and you follow the steps I kind of talk you through that you are going to make 2023 the best year yet. I really really hope that this video gives you the gentle or unsugarcoated push that you need to motivate yourself and inspire yourself to make 2023 your best year yet and to level up and be the best version of yourself and create your dream life, all of those things. And so without further ado, let's dive straight into it. There are four steps I usually go through to set my goals for 2023 and create an action plan. So just in summary, step one is you audit last year. Step two is your 2023 goals and action plan. Step three is getting organized, so creating systems and daily habits that are sustainable for you and your lifestyle, so that's really important. And number four is mindset and visualization. If you guys want to learn more about any specific one of these steps, then please just leave it in the comments and I'm so happy to create a longer video specifically on one of these steps because there's so much for me to cover and I hope that I can cover this within like the next 10 to 15 minutes, but I probably won't be able to. So yeah, we'll just jump straight into it. The way that I like to start planning for the new year is actually to do an audit of the previous year. And the reason why I like to do an audit is because it allows you to actually reflect on the year that was, on what you did well, what you didn't do well, what areas you can improve in, and why you didn't achieve those goals or why you actually fell short of what you wanted to achieve for the year. And so I'm just going to pop the questions that I usually ask myself over here. These questions really help you to reflect on the negative parts of the previous year. And the reason why I'm really focusing on the negative is I think this might be contrary to popular opinion, but I feel like focusing on what you did wrong allows you to put the steps into place to practically prevent yourself from repeating the same mistakes in the new year. And I feel like it's so important to actually call yourself out because so many of us don't actually take accountability and we always adopt this victim mentality and feel sorry for ourselves when we are actually the problem. So I really like to call myself out. Step two is my favorite, favorite, favorite part ever. It's setting your 2023 goals and action plan. And this is my favorite part of the year because it just, I love setting goals. I love creating action plans and I love executing. And whenever I set a new goal and an action plan, I just feel so motivated to achieve it and I just believe I can achieve it. Some of you might be thinking, okay, like I actually have no clue where to start. Like I don't even know what I want. I don't know what my purpose is. I don't know what passion is. And that's super, super normal. And all of us go through that and I go through that a lot. Like I'm sometimes, sometimes I question, okay, do I actually want to achieve this goal? What goal should I set for myself? What is my life meant to be like? What path am I supposed to go down? And so I'm going to actually pop a few questions here that are kind of trigger questions and that might help you kind of fine tune what kind of goals you want to set for yourself, 
uh, where you want to be and I just like to write a long rant and answer these questions and once you kind of answer it you get a better idea of uh, where you want to be and and of what kind of person you want to be and then through that you can kind of flesh out specific goals. Once we've kind of done that high level existential brainstorming, we get to the whole goal setting process. So I'm just going to kind of talk through each of the steps and whilst I talk through it, just start a Google Doc and just do it whilst I talk to it and do it whilst I speak. So pause the video and complete each step and it might actually help you to actually get the goal setting done because I feel like a lot of us push it day by day, week by week, and then by the time we know it, it's literally February and we haven't set goals for 2023 yet. So pause the video, do the steps, and then come back to the video. First off, get a blank Google Doc, a blank page, whatever you want, and write down absolutely every single goal that comes to mind to you. You don't have to think deeply about it, but kind of write it by instinct. So just write, word vomit down everything. So this is a brain dump. And I usually like to do a brain dump especially when I'm not exactly sure what I want to be achieving, it's super, super helpful. These goals can be big goals or small goals, just write it all down. So you might have like 50 goals, 100 goals and just write them all down. So now that you've brain dumped all your goals, now look through this list of goals and ask yourself this question. Am I setting this goal because I actually want to achieve it or because I think that other people would want me to achieve it? I'm going to repeat. Am I setting this goal because I actually want to achieve it or because I think other people would want me to achieve it? Do that for every single one of the goals that you've written down. I know it's tedious, but it's really, really worth it because it helps you to cut out the goals that don't resonate with you. The reason I do this is because I realise that so many of us and I myself, I set goals because I thought that there would be good goals to achieve but then I actually didn't want to achieve them intrinsically. And so when I achieved the goal or I was working towards the goal, I didn't even feel motivated to achieve it. I was just kind of like, yeah, okay, like this is a goal. I don't actually want to pursue it and work hard to achieve it. And so cut out the goals that don't resonate with you. Focus your time and energy into the goals that you feel like you're intrinsically motivated to pursue. I recommend setting around three bigger goals and then having a few small sub goals. Having too many big goals will kind of overwhelm you. If you're kind of not sure what kind of goals to set, there are five areas of life that I generally set goals for. So there's personal, so that's kind of personal development, mind, um, learning and knowledge. Second is health and fitness, so that's eating, um, fitness, all that kind of stuff. Three is relationships, so that's family, friends and loved ones. Fourth is career and fifth is financial, so the amount of money you're making and your investments. So that's kind of the five areas I like to set goals for. And so after you've kind of picked out the goals that you feel like resonate with you, this is the most important step and honestly my favourite step. Pretty much I've put together an acronym. The acronym is OPKR, which is O-P-K-R, and OPKR helps you to break down things into bite-sized manageable pieces. So OPKR, O-P-K-R. And so what the O stands for is objective. So objective is essentially your overarching big goal. Objectives can be long-term, they can be for the whole year, and so it requires a lot of work to actually get to. The four requirements of an objective are they are significant, so they're big. It's not, let's say, to make $10 a week. It's to say, to make $100,000 a year. So it's kind of a longer goal. They have to be concrete, they have to be action-oriented, and they have to be inspiring. So you have to be motivated to actually pursue that goal. And what the P stands for is purpose. And purpose is extremely important, and I added this step recently to my goal setting because I realized that if I don't know my intention behind pursuing or setting a goal then I'll never actually want to pursue it. So your purpose is your why. You have to identify what the underlying reason is behind you wanting to pursue that specific goal. And then the KR stands for key result and your key result is your how and your how is your action plan. And the question I like to ask myself is, how do I get to my objective? An objective can have multiple key results. I usually have three to four. Key results are measurable. 
and key results involve an action plan. Key results are so important because when you look at your big objective, it might seem super overwhelming, it might seem super unattainable and huge. But if you break things down into bite-sized components, you break the year down into a quarter, your quarter into months, and then your month into weeks, and you break down your week into specific tasks that will add up to you achieving your objective, it's a lot more manageable and by switching that perspective, you'll feel much more motivated because it doesn't seem like it's this huge mountain you have to climb. You're just climbing everything a step at a time. There is so much more that I want to go into detail with about Okka, Okka, but I feel like this video is going to be way too long. So if you want me to delve deeper into this, I'm so happy to make multiple other videos about it. I could rant on it forever and ever um, and give some more practical examples. But just let me know in the comments and I'll be more than happy to film another video on this. Step three, after you've set your action plan, is to get organized and so that is creating systems and a sustainable routine that aligns with the way that you live or your lifestyle <laughs> and the way that you live and so the two things that i usually like to do is one create a weekly routine and two create a morning and evening routine and so what a weekly routine is is i like to get my google calendar up and i like to time block everything and so this means asking yourself, how much time will I dedicate to each area of my life? And set it on your Google Calendar, set it as a recurring event, so that these things are non-negotiable for you. And when I look at my week, I see different colours for different tasks or different areas of my life. I know that they're non-negotiable and I'll always complete them no matter how my week unfolds. Another important part of the routine that I've been implementing is setting one hour aside each week to reflect. And I know that might sound like a lot of time, but reflecting and revising your key results and sometimes switching up your goals is so important because sometimes you just lose track of your goal, you lose track of your time. And by reflecting, you actually hold yourself accountable to whether or not you're achieving your goal. The morning and evening routine, um, I'm going to keep this quick, but you have to implement a routine that is sustainable for your lifestyle. I know that on YouTube and on TikTok and on social media, you see people doing like, 5 a.m. morning routine, 6 a.m. morning routine, how to be that girl. And of course, these are such incredible, you know, motivating videos and things like that. But if you aren't a type of person that wakes up early, you shouldn't feel the need to suddenly just wake up at 5 a.m. If you want to wake up earlier, you need to put the systems in place to gently train yourself to wake up early. If you want to wake up at 6 a.m. every day but you're a night owl, start by waking up 15 minutes earlier than you did the previous day. So jumping back to OPCO, your key result, waking up 15 minutes earlier every day, that is measurable. That will help you get to your objective of waking up at 6 a.m. every single morning. Let's say you want to go to the gym six times a week but you never go to the gym. Start by working out once a week or start by working out 15 minutes a day and building that up every single day so that you're improving every single day and then gradually over time, you'll sustainably get to where you wanna be. Last step, mindset and visualization. Probably the most important step. So for your mindset, you have to develop unwavering belief in yourself. And the way that I like to do this is by repeating to myself affirmations every single day. So my affirmation is, I can do it. When you approach your goals, you have to believe that you can actually achieve them. You can set huge goals, small goals, but if you don't actually think you can get to those goals, then you'll never be able to actually get there. So what I like to do is tell myself affirmations every single day or whenever I'm feeling super stressed or life is super hard, I tell myself, I can do it. I can do it. I repeat to myself, I've been doing this ever since I was like 12. I can do it, I can do it. And so create the affirmation that you feel aligned with you and repeat that to yourself every single day. Look in the mirror, I've got a mirror right there. Look in the mirror and tell yourself those affirmations every single day and soon you'll start to believe it. Last is visualization. Close your eyes and imagine yourself living the dream life that you've always wanted to live as if you've achieved every single one of your goals. And do that every single day when you wake up or before you go to bed. A lot of people like to create vision boards. Um, I personally love vision boards, but I feel like they don't actually add any practical effect to me actually creating my dream life. So if you guys like doing vision boards, that's also another option, but I personally prefer just sitting on my bed right here, closing my eyes and visualizing me living my dream life and achieving all my goals. I really hope that this video was helpful for you. I want to 
gonna be sharing a lot more kind of thought based videos over the new year because I feel like you know I just love talking and I hope that you guys find value in what I have to say and so yeah all the best I believe in you and share your goals in the comments below message me if you ever need any help with anything I'm here for you all the best you can do it I believe in you you got this